Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and we're in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Doug Johnston, who is the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Dr. Johnston, it is great to see you again and thanks for being with me. Great to see you, Adam. Great to be here. Yeah, so we're here at STS learning a lot of new information. Some great studies are coming out in research. We're also getting patient questions. This one came in from Ravi. Ravi asks, are there any new updates or research on what patients can do to enhance the durability of their heart valve replacement? I recently received an Edwards Inspiris Rosalia. Well, that's a great question from Ravi. Um, that's a question patients often ask us. The, uh, the truth is that there's not a lot you can do to let, make your valve last longer, or the flip side is there's not a lot you can do to screw it up. So that's the good news. Uh, these valves, all tissue valves, typically fail one of two ways. Either the leaflets tear, or more commonly, they develop calcification. The specific valve you received, the Resilia tissue treatment, is designed to reduce the rate of calcification over time. So you have a valve that is a very modern generation valve. The hope is that that valve is going to last a very long time, but you don't need to worry about anything you do in your daily life that might affect the durability. Great. And I got a follow-up for you, Dr. Johnson. I get this question about 10 times a week. How long do tissue valves last? And maybe you can touch on mechanicals as well. Sure. So uh, great question. How long they last is very dependent on patient factors. The most important one is age. Um, tissue valves wear out faster in younger patients. For reasons we don't understand very well, it's likely to do with the fact that the body's metabolism of calcium is more active in younger patients. May have to do a little bit with the immune system, but the younger you are, the faster the valve wears out. Um, patients who are in their 50s and 60s, the most common age for patients to get a tissue aortic valve, um, typically because of bicuspid valve disease, we know that at least for the older generation uh, pericardial valves, at 10 years, more than 90% of them are still working. 15 years, it's about 70%. And by 20 years, it's down to 50-50, which is actually not too bad for a prior generation valve. So a fair number of patients will go at least 15 years. So patients often ask uh, the same question about mechanical valves. And theoretically, a mechanical valve can last a human lifetime. The machine is amazing. The question is, how well is it maintained? I often tell patients it's sort of like a, a high-priced sports car. Like it needs a lot of maintenance to, to um, work well. So if patients take their anticoagulation, their Coumadin, um, and regulate their dosing well, a mechanical valve can last 40 plus years. And I've taken out mechanical valves that are as old as 45 years. The maintenance is very important though. And so before choosing a mechanical valve, I would always talk to patients and say, look, this is a lifelong choice you gotta make. Um, so look in the mirror and say, is this something I'm willing to, to take care of for the rest of my life? If you are, it's a great choice. Great, well, Ravi, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me. And Dr. Johnson, as always, thanks for everything you and your team are doing at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago. Thanks for being with me today. Thanks, Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen, or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.